Oh no, there's panic at platform Pete's lair. Let's do something about that. Or is it us that was panicking? Well, it could be because this level is actually, um, well, I would argue the hardest level in the game. Remember the spiky platforms? Oh yeah, they're back and they are nasty. Um, basically because uh, Mr. Platform Pete over there is being a douchebag and is turning these things around all the freaking time. Now, here it's not much of a problem yet. It is um, at the later sections of these, uh, this level where um, you have to jump from platform to platform. And with platform I mean a spiky platform. And that can be come a bit nasty as we'll soon discover no doubt although maybe having played this recently uh, will pay uh, pay off we'll see not getting my hopes up but yeah in a uh, typical playthrough this level will cost me the most lives because it's yeah it's just uh, hard and you really really need some timing here uh, not this part as much, but uh, in, in, in coming parts of this level, you will need some freaking timing, and I'm pretty terrible at timing in general. But speaking of timing, let, let's just see if I can actually uh, do this in one go. That'd be awesome. So far so good. I think we're gonna make this. You know, save some time. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty, uh, pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Okay, so here, here it goes. Look, you have to jump from one to the other. The timing on this is pretty ridiculous. There is one advantage you can keep in mind, and that is that you don't actually... You can jump a bit ahead of time. And if you quickly jump again, you can jump off of the rotating platform. So that is very handy to keep in mind. But don't do that. Really, if you jump too late, just a slight microsecond too late, you will slide off and off you go. So it's really best to jump too early. That way you can jump off of the rotating platform and that, that kind of works. See? That is the way to do it, but uh, it is very tricky nonetheless. But uh, yeah. We made it. One life lost. Not too bad yet. Not too bad yet. Alright, and... Yeah, this can be a bit of a problem as well. Basically, what he's going to do is uh, do a sequence where platforms will... Um, move. Not move. Be turned around. And moving goes in two ways. Either horizontally or up and down. What you want to do is just keep moving as you can. And I should probably have made that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wait. Because it's probably gonna be the uh, spiky platform soon. Should have uh, be faster there on the... Yeah, see? Had I stayed there to wait, I would have been dead. And now we can safely hop on uh, it again and it should go horizontally now, yep. And we can exit this mess of a section. To enter a bigger one, sweet. <laughs> and we've got the Dumb and Dumber music here. Well, not really Dumb and Dumber music, but you know, it's, it's just one of those tunes that plays when the dumb character is on screen. Comical relief guys, uh, which uh, is probably fitting. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I think if you're fast enough, uh, you can do this in one run without waiting again. So we'll try and make it happen. But this room does tend to give me problems as well. So we'll see what happens. I 
I mean, it's just very hard. If you miss one of these jumps, uh, you're pretty much screwed. Unless by some miracle you drop to a platform below, which, by the way, happened in the uh, previous run, which was kind of weird and surprising and kind of awesome as well, because, you know, it, it, it still saved us from uh, death. But yeah, as long as you can jump ahead, move. And that way you should be uh, relatively safe. This one is a bit hard to make because he's... Uh, yeah, well, that went well. But yeah, you have to be a bit quick there. But uh, those red platforms you can, of course, also wait on. But uh, yeah, this level uh, didn't go as uh, horrible as I thought. That uh, test play did work out last week. Sweet. Anyway, let's uh, get us some gobos because we still have zero of those. They are all in this bonus section. And of course, the bonus section has to be this stuff as well. Oi. Uh, good tip here is to use the horizontal uh, jumping, or not horizontal, I mean diagonal. To make short work of these platforms, so you have to, uh, so you don't have to hop over from spiky platform to spiky platform, because that can be a bit uh, hard. This bonus area usually gives me a lot, a lot of trouble as well. But uh, I feel in good form today, so who knows? Maybe I'll do this in one try as well. Who knows? There we go. It does pay off when you do a test run of uh, levels, I suppose. And now, of course, we need to, because... Uh, meh. Wow, that was freaking close. Because this goes surprisingly well. Not gonna lie. Much better than the first run, uh, where I lost like uh, five or seven lives or so. <laughs> oh, aren't you glad you don't see that, huh? <laughs> okay, so one more gobo to go. I hear Pete smashing, but where is Pete uh, actually? I don't see him anywhere. Huh. Oh well. Let's head for the gong. Ah, uh, almost so much style, but no, no dice. And of course, no, no freaking gems again. <laughs> oh well. 62 lives still to go, and uh, you know, Baron Dante only has the one, so uh. I think we'll be safe next time. But join me then for the big show off with the Baron himself. So until then guys, take care and see you later. Bye bye for now.